Okay, I'm like, what you, what you know about me? Cause it's way too many talking like they know about Queen. Yeah, I'm the one and only beast like Megan. Ain't no time at me, and I don't care about a hoe. I love my haters equally. What's up, JV gang? How y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good. And, man, I'm not even gonna waste no time. Cause I don't like really like long intros on other people's videos, so we're not even gonna do that here. Let's get straight into this video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, today we are doing a story time on how I first got arrested or my first time getting arrested, whatever. I was a bad kid, y'all. Like, really? Okay, really? I have been being bad. So my mom sent me to my grandmother's house so I could be better or whatever in this point in life i just really didn't care i really i really like just didn't care and like everybody in my family says jv gonna do what jv wanna do i went to this new school called cambridge uh, in any i had knew a lot of people there already because they had those people had went to the school that i went to in like i like like middle school and stuff like that and so when i went to cambridge high school I knew quite a bit of people that I had made this new friend named C because what we're calling her we're calling her C we're not gonna no name so C had came to me talking about some all oh, these guys want to um, go to a hotel and smoke and they said if I had a friend to bring and then she asked me she's like do you want to go with me and I'm like yeah girl I want to go you know I want to smoke blah 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 don't do drugs kids don't do drugs okay don't do drugs drugs make you stupid so they were like oh send us a picture of her you know she's cute she can go blah 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 and then she's like okay we sent th they she sent them a um you had you 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 could you do you wait you want picture and it's like yes yeah, cool she can go because baby who's I'm not ugly, but okay. So we were waiting on them, and then they finally came. Uh, I think we left around 10.30ish. Yeah, like 10.30ish. We got in the car, and we had drove to the hotel. See, apparently had booked the hotel, and the guys were gonna pay for it. Once they had paid for it, they walked like, in the building or whatever, and came to the side door and let us in the side door so we can go up to the room. So we went up to the room, they rolled the blunts in the bathroom, which now that I think about it, we probably should have just smoked in the bathroom and like turned on the shower with some hot water, put a towel, whatever, you know, you know, and we shouldn't even did it at all, okay, it was stupid. We went into the room or whatever, and we sat in kind of like a triangle, I guess. Uh, C was right here, the one guy was right here, one guy was sitting in front of us, and we started doing our little rotation or whatever. We were smoking probably for like 30 minutes or so. And I was like, okay, can we get like, you know, some lotion or something? So the room don't be smelling or whatever. Not the room, but like we don't smell like we like when we leave or whatever. But then they were like, y'all ain't got no perfume. And I'm like, no, I don't have none. And she's like, no, I don't have none. They're like, girls always supposed to have perfume. Girls always perfume. I was like, well, I don't have none. I got some lotion. Like, do y'all want some lotion? Guy's friend had went with me downstairs to the car to go um get my lotion because I was like, oh, it's in the car. Because I, I felt on my body like to see if I had it on me, but I didn't. And so we went to the car to go get it, and I couldn't find it. And I reached in my jacket pocket. Tell me why the lotion in my jacket pocket, y'all. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! The whole time, he's like, wow. I don't know if it's just me, but, like, when you be high, like, stuff feel different. Like, I don't know, your touch senses are different. So I didn't really feel it the first time I, like, checked. But whatever. So we went back upstairs to uh the room and when we when we went back up there they were in the bathroom doing god knows what she was one of them girls i'm I, hey she was one of them fucking girls me and the dude sit there talking i don't even remember about but like you know and so we get a phone call they're still in the bathroom and he goes to answer the phone he's like at first he's like hesitant he's like hello and the lady's like 
um, we don't allow smoking in the hotel and blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, we're sorry. And we'll stop. And then, so he hangs up the phone. I said, we should leave. And he's like, no, nah, I think it's fine as long as we just stop smoking. And I'm like, like, are you dumb? So dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Like, but me, I'm high. And you know how you know how you are when you're high. You're just like, oh, okay. To everything, you know? So I'm like, okay. But in my head, I'm like, no. You need to leave, like, right now. Because had I been in my right mind, I would have been like, no, we need to leave. Weed is not legal. We're going to get arrested, you know? But I wasn't, y'all. I really, like, wasn't. I, I was just like, oh, well. And honestly, y'all, I really feel like the uh lobby the girl the lobby lady she was like trying to warn us or something like you know get out like y'all need to leave like the police are on their way we should have left when she said that but we didn't because <sighs> we were stupid drugs make you stupid i'm gonna say that again don't do drugs kids 15 minutes later the police knocked on our door my heart dropped to my ass and this dude gonna go open the door and he's like Hello? They're like, how many people are in here? He's, and then it's still, he gonna say, it's just me. They gonna walk in here and see me. What are you talking about? Like how, you could at least say, oh, it's only two of us or something. It was two male cops and it was a lady cop. Oh, sorry, I'm so tired. Um, The lady cop, <laughs> and the other new cop had opened up the bathroom door and they were like whoever's in there y'all need to come out and I guess they were like hiding or something I don't know what they were doing but he came out and then she it took her a second to come out and then she ended up coming out but she was like fixing her clothes down I was like get your, get your big nasty ass. they had sat us down and the uh the uh, the lady and the other male cop went into the bathroom and they were like using a little tool thing to get the weed out of the toilet or whatever because they have to let you down the toilet then they were like is there any more weed uh they're like no and they asked me they're like what's your name and what's your date of birth man i'm sitting there looking like Um, I think the fuck not. Not saying nothing. Like, I, no. No. He, he just kept asking, kept asking. He's like, um, well, write it on this piece of paper. And I write my name right, but then I wrote, when I, when they told me to write my, my date of birth, I kind of made it look like a two and kind of like a three. To kind of like, I guess confuse. They were like, do you guys, do you have any, um, body to call to come get you? And I'm like, yeah, my uncle. But at the time, I didn't have my phone, y'all, so I had to use my friend's phone. So I ended up calling my uncle on her phone after she had called her mom. And so I'm like, I got in trouble again. <laughs> so my uncle's like, are you serious? Why you keep doing this stuff, Javia? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, I don't know. Can you come get me? And you know what, y'all? I really thought that they were going to, like, let me stay at the hotel and wait for my uncle but no they were like saying like come uh like he come and get you and you know what my plan was if they let me stay there and wait for him then i was going to run back to the damn school or something i don't know what i was going to do i was going to i was going to get back to that school i do know that that was my plan i was going to fake call my uncle or something i don't know but then i thought about it i was like no they probably going one of them probably going to try to stay here until he get here so they were asking like us questions and stuff i'm sitting there looking like dumbfounded like i'm not saying nothing my daddy told me don't say nothing you don't know nothing they accuse you of something no that's not me okay miss turner we have you no you don't you don't admit to nothing don't say nothing nothing i didn't answer no questions i didn't nothing my daddy said don't open up your mouth now they said if we had been 18 they would have just charged us extra for the room. We would have been let go. But we weren't because so, we were minors and they were older. That's why we went to jail and that's why they went to jail. They ended up arresting us. The lady was like, do you have a second pair of cuffs or whatever? And he's like, no. He said, just cuff them together. I don't care. 
Do you know how uncomfortable, first off, how uncomfortable that cuff was and then for someone else to be pulling on it like come on now and then but luckily the girl had another pair in a car i guess or something and so she ended up getting those and we got separate cuffs and she put us in a car c uh had called my i'm, I'm like nay I'm, oh <laughs> i was like c let me see your phone i need to call uh someone i don't even know i, I don't know if i was kind of trying to call my dad or something i don't remember i think i was trying to call my dad because i knew if i had called my dad i would have been less trouble not less trouble but you know it would have been better than my mom or my grandmother trying to come get me, you know? So, I was going to call my dad. But I couldn't because she's like, she said, no, no, no. Because she had texted her mom, but she was scared of what her mom was going to say. But she didn't say that she got arrested. She was, she was basically just saying, mom, I won't be home on time and I won't be at the bus stop or whatever. They drove us to a clinic first before we went to the uh, jail or whatever. Basically, to just make sure that we, they didn't give us anything bad or anything like that. Which they didn't. We are fine. And, man, she started crying. I don't know why I do this stuff and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I started crying because, man, I know I'm going to get my ass beat. <laughs> so, I was scared. Like, I never, I never, okay, I left school one time before, but I never got caught, though. And I, oh, my God, I knew I was going to die. First of all, it was with boys they were grown it, you left school it was a hotel oh my god like the, my parents were all, automatically gonna assume the worst which we didn't do anything except for except for c she she definitely did something to that i don't know but whatever c was over here crying her eyes out y'all and honestly crocodile tears baby crocodile tears okay i'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute I'm getting ahead of myself um so we they take us to the the jail or whatever we're in these like holding cells man they was patting us the lady was patting us down she said i'm a woman so she was she's like lift your titties up shaking i'm like <laughs> and they put us in our little individual cells or whatever man y'all it was so cold in there it was so cold i was oh my god i was so mad see mom had came and got her First. man her mama got there in like 25 minutes i was mad because my parents left me there until like seven mind you we got there around one we got to the uh, police station about one so we were i was there y'all i was there till nighttime i think it was like seven o'clock or no it was eight it was eight because i remember looking at the clock it was like around eight o'clock before my grandmother came to get me. I don't know if they were trying to, you know, make me, uh, teach me a lesson by leaving me there or whatever. But her mom came and got her like 20 minutes. I, I heard her mom like yelling at her or whatever. And then they had called my parents. My mom's on the phone crying. My grandma's on the phone crying. We give her everything she wants. We keep her hair. We keep her nails. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm really fun to have to deal with this when I get back, you know? And so, uh, <laughs> I felt bad, y'all. I really did. I felt bad. I felt bad. My grandmother ended up coming to get me around, like, 8, I think. And, um, they had gave her my, like, belonging bag. And like I told y'all, I didn't have my phone. But I had a friend's phone. <laughs> the phone was in the bag when they gave it to her. They left our bags there. I never got my backpack back. My backpack had my my credit card, my ID. It had everything in there, y'all had everything. They they used my money that was on my credit card too. Wenches. But anyway, we had got in the car. My grandma they drove maybe about halfway to the house or whatever. Mind y'all, we were in Smyrna, okay? And my grandmother's house in Antioch. So I was a long way away. She's like, what the fuck are you doing in Smyrna? We got halfway and she calls my mom. She stops the car on like the side of the road or whatever. And she calls my mom. And my mom's like, Jamie, are you serious? You know, uh, just screaming, yelling at me. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. You know, and I really thought I was scared. Y'all want to get a woman, you know? So... <laughs> I had ended up, we got to the house, and nothing happened. 
my grandfather kind of just gave me this little dirty look like but he was mad or disappointed or whatever and i ended up being in my room oh before we got out the car you know like i said my bag with all my stuff in it it was sitting right there and i tried to grab the microphone yeah because she she seen the phone in there she seen the part of, she grabbed it on my hand and everything and i'm like well dang like you know i didn't have a chance but whatever and um so i go to my room and then she ended up bringing me the bag but she took the stuff that i was supposed to have out there and then i ended up going i i went to sleep and then i just ended up going to sleep and so the next day i went to school like i said crocodile tears tell me why this girl left the next day she left and if she had left like literally that whole like whole time and then we eventually ended up going to court for that um and so what happened in court was they were like y'all basically need to stay away from each other y'all need to stay in school and um oh y'all have to do community service i ended up like not having to do my community service because right when COVID happened so <laughs> this girl she was still talking to me she still left school but oh she did her community service bro the whole point of this was what like we leave us leaving school and you like really gonna leave school again like are you dumb she's like well i did my community service that doesn't so it doesn't really matter girl they said that they're going to be watching your attendance like what part like come on now even after they told her to stay in school they she kept leaving and then one day she asked me hey you want to go this place with me i'm like no i was really ready just like Ooh. like i was girl i was really like ready to fight her like are you stupid that's the end of my story time y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video like comment subscribe 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 please subscribe the first person that comment under this video will get a shout out in my next video if you watch this video full through i want y'all to comment butterfly yeah comment butterfly i know i said i was gonna do a q a video before this but i actually something I did the video. It was a mukbang. It was a mukbang, mukbang, whatever it is. Um, with seafood boil, with a seafood boil. I had did, I had did, I, we did it, y'all. I promise y'all we did it. But it ended up getting deleted because I accidentally, like, it's a long story. It got deleted, point blank, period. But I will be doing a, I will be doing those questions because I screenshotted and saved them because that happened. So I will be doing those questions in a Q&A. It just won't be, you know, this video. But probably the next video, I'm not really sure, but I will be doing those. But I'll see you in the next one, JV gang. <laughs>